subscribe. Hi everybody and welcome. My name's Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Today is a tutorial um, on jingle bells uh, for Christmas, but this is a more advanced version. Um, I guess it's just um, a little version that I've just literally made up um, off the cuff of doing another video that I did. I did Jingle Bells, really easy version. I'll put a link to that now if you want to see that. But um, as I was doing that video, um, you know me, I couldn't help myself um, and I accidentally slipped in a few extra notes and maybe some double and triple stopping and and all things like that. Um, got a bit carried away and <laughs> decided that would have been too complicated to put for the really easy version for you guys out there. But what I thought I would do is I couldn't possibly keep that to myself. So I thought I would do a more advanced version for any of you guys out there who, um, I don't know, just like doing kind of violin acrobats or just really want to impress your friends. So what I'm going to do is play it for you. Um, then I'll go through a little bit with, with you and show you how I did it. Um, and you can have the sheet music to it underneath as well. I haven't actually done the sheet music um, as of this very second, but I will do, and I will put a link to it. So you've got it in the comment bar. Um, sorry, so that it will be in the description bar. Um, underneath for you completely free my own arranged version for anybody out there that just wants to have a laugh and just have a quick go at it so here is jingle bells i'm going to play the verse that goes with it first and then you'll hear the chorus just my version of Jingle Bells that I literally made up about 20 minutes ago um, as I was doing the other video for you so uh, as you can see I just couldn't possibly keep that to myself um, I just had to share it all with you um, so I'm gonna tell you how I did it first of all um, so the first um, well the, the 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 key that it's in is a nice key because the violin um, likes to play second fingers stretched and everything so it, this this might sound really complicated to do and while I guess I suppose it is it is more advanced it probably sounds a lot more complicated than it is to actually play so it's almost like um, when I'm about to break it down for you you'll think oh is that actually all it is it sounded a lot more complicated so it's it's not if, if you've got a general grasp and a general good holding of the violin then then there's no reason why uh, anybody can't have a go at this so to start with, um, the verse is actually the same as the really easy version that I was doing and I didn't really change anything from that. I just sped it up a little bit so it was a little bit faster and the end I just did some double stopping. So um, I think the best thing is if uh, I, I will write this all out for you and by the time this, this video goes on you will be able to have that sheet music in there. But like I say, all, all the double and the quadruple stoppings and triple stoppings and all that kind of thing are, are really nicely all, all done under the fingers. And it's really all done with the, the A and the E string majoritively. And then I'm just playing open Ds and open Gs to kind of accompany that. So it's more with the theatrics of it all really, just the, the bow that I've used with it. So I've just started off. So I just went through and played that. When it got near the end, um, this is when I started to do um, the double stopping. So I'm just using, you can see by the music there that, so the third and the second finger are quite nicely right next door to each other. As I'm playing the fourth finger, I'm keeping that second finger down on the A string, so that's nice and easy. Back to two and three. And then when I do the two on the E string, I've changed for an open A string. So that's a bit out of tune there. And 
having an open A and an open E, and then a D with an F sharp. So a D on the A, F sharp on the um, D string. And then for the O jingle, but I'm doing back up to the 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 um, sorry A on the E string and the C sharp for the A string. And then we go into jingle bells. So that's that part. Um, Now for the really fun part, for the jingle bells, um, if you just had a look at the easier version that I've done, I'll put a link to that um, in the description bar underneath, just so you, just so you know where this, this whole thing originated from. So it might be worth looking at that because then you can see what I've built on top of that. So for the jingle bells, I've just put, um, I've got a one for the F sharp there on the E string and the rest of it, I'm just playing open strings. down, up, up, down, up, up, as you'll see from the music. Or down, up, down, it doesn't really matter. I think the first time I'm going down, up, down, up, up, down. So down, up, down, up, up, down. Again, I'll put the bow movements in there as well. So that's that part for the introduction. Um, and then the rest of it is just really a combination of just doing just the, the threes and the twos. So you've got a third finger on the highest string and then you've got a two on the lowest string, which is right above it. Um, so at the start of the verse, um, I kind of change, I, I kind of just chop and change my mind all the way through, but... Um, <laughs> And if you've got the um, here I'm doing a two and then underneath I've got a one and then I'm doing um, a big arpeggio with the open G string and the D so you can do as many of them so the next part is a little bit harder so after you've got on a one horse open sleigh because you've got open E's so for the open E's um, I really wanted um, another note but it wouldn't have it, it wouldn't have it would have made it too complicated and moved up and when you move up into third position you sort of lose the um, the, the, the big resonance that you the big resonance that you get from the, from doing a big chord with all the open G's, uh, with all the open G's and D's and all that kind of thing. So for the um, uh, one horse open sleigh, I'm doing an open E and I'm doing a third finger on the A string. Now this is only difficult because you've got to try not to get your finger on that A string. So you're going to have to angle that third finger. Sorry, you don't want to be touching the E string with your third finger. So when the D, when you're on that D for the A string, you want to push it towards the D string so it's away. Or you'll, you'll get that sort of, that kind of high pitched sound. Okay, so, um, so you just want to be careful. See, I, I caught it a bit there, so I just, I'm, I am slowing it down to be fair. So I just, I caught it a little bit there because I'm, I'm trying to slow it down to kind of demonstrate to you. But you just need to get the, get, get it at the right angle so that that doesn't, that doesn't actually happen to you. And then you, then you just carry on as, as normal. <laughs> I went up into third position but you don't have to but I did so I went up into third position so you can just follow the music if you don't want to go up into third position you find it hard but again all the fingers do do follow a nice pattern so you've got a nice one and two there a nice three and two and then a four would be right next to the third finger with the third 
on the other string just underneath it and you can do a you can do an arpeggio chord with that if you want to if you didn't want to go into third position so you could end it at sorry just do um so end it with a open a open e and open a and then and then you've got your D and your F sharp there. So it's up to you how you want to do it. But um, I just thought that I would just, um, I wasn't actually planning on doing this video, um, but to be honest, I did get a bit carried away when I was doing the really easy violin version. I thought, no, there's no way that I can include that in there. And I couldn't possibly keep that to myself. I completely made that up. Maybe someone else out there has done it as well. I, I don't know, but that's just something that, um, I've literally just knocked up for you, so it's a little surprise video for everybody. So um, thanks very much, um, I hope you like that. Um, if anybody can do any video responses to this, um, record yourself playing it and regaling your family at Christmas and that would be brilliant. I'd love to put a video response of one of you guys playing something from anything that I've done or, you know, or whatever and I'll, I'll put the video response up and everybody else would love to see it as well so do that if if you can um so thanks very much merry christmas happy new year and i'll catch you all next time subscribe